Hello guys, I hope you're doing really well. I bet you're thinking, Janine, where the heck are you? I'm in my bedroom. Yes, I don't sleep downstairs. I actually have a room. <laughs> so I went through the comments on the video that I had made about what kind of videos you'd like to see more of and the comments were absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys so, so much. Oh my gosh, like it really, it made me feel all like warm inside. It made me smile. And so thank you so, so much, honestly. But I thought because it's my dad's birthday today, I'm going to be getting ready anyway, that I do a makeup tutorial. So um, because it was requested in, in this video too. So yeah, I thought I'd do that. I lost two nails, so I do apologise that about that in this video. <laughs> so first off, I'm going to be using the Revolution Super Base Primer. I really like this primer. It is meant to be a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Primer that's quite expensive. Um, but this does make your skin feel smooth. Um, next, my Holy Grail, the Maybelline Eraser Concealer, which is great. I always put this on first and let it sit for a minute. Um, a lot of makeup artists say that it, it actually helps let it set a little bit before you actually blend it in so maybe that's a tip I don't know I don't know if that actually works I actually do, had to do two lots of concealer this time because oh my gosh my bags under my eyes were horrendous as you can see um, obviously with me having a really bad couple of weeks with pain yeah it's kind of took its toll I think Okay, so for foundation, this is one of my favourites at the minute and it's really affordable. It's the Collection Filter Finish Foundation. It's meant to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. I don't know if it's as good as that, but I actually do really like this foundation. As I've got older, I definitely prefer a more lightweight foundation. I'm not into full coverage. I much prefer to see my freckles. I think full coverage definitely, I think it can show imperfections on my skin definitely more. So with the foundation done, I'm just gonna quickly pop on a little bit more concealer. As you can see, my under eyes are looking very tired. Um, again, it's the lack of sleep and the rubbish week that I've had. Um, so I'm just gonna pop a little bit more on. Um, and then I'm going to blend it with my fingers rather than any brush. The warmth from your fingers will actually help it uh, blend in a lot better than any brush really. Just brushing through the little bit of brows that I have left. <laughs> it's just to get any foundation out of the brow hairs. This doesn't look very nice. <laughs> it's a uh, brow glue. Uh, it's meant to hold your brows in place. This one's actually not very good. This one's from She Glam. Um, I have used better ones. So with concealer still under my eyes, I'm going to do my brows. So that was a brow pen from Sheen. It's a she, Sheen Glam one. Um, and I actually do really like it. Uh, they last quite a long time. Just that only one end really works. Like the felt it part on these don't actually work on me very well. I need to find... Um, a better pencil from somewhere else really but yeah I use this side to draw the sort of outline of my brow first I never actually color the brow in so I just sort of do the outline and then a few strands in between just to sort of obviously fill it in a little bit but I don't fill the whole thing in just because I don't think it looks that as natural if you if I fill mine in completely anyway I mean I'm not saying I'm a professional my brows do not look good at all really I mean my brows have never really looked good since since secondary school actually when I plucked all my hairs out and they've never really grown back properly anyway despite the whole chemo thing so <laughs> yeah I try and do my best just to give them an outline and then I use a second pen um, which is from Revolution to, which is more of like a felt tip pen which I'll do hair like strokes with just to make it look a little bit more natural. <laughs> Come here. Come on, 
Thanks on holiday. <laughs> I then go on to use some powder, some baking powder, that's what it's called. This one's by Revolution again. I swear this isn't a Revolution ad. But um, <laughs> yeah, I just pop some onto a little sponge and then dab it into my eyes just so that there's no creasing and that the concealer will stay in place. Popping on this lip oil, um, it's the Revolution Plump Lip Oil. It doesn't plump your lips, but it does feel nice. Let's make our face look snatched with some contour. Sorry. Um, <laughs> this is by Max Factor and it's the contour palette. Um, I just pop a little bit just onto the cheekbones. I do like contour in my face. I do think it gives your face a bit of definition. Um, so, you know, it's not just one blank canvas. You've got a bit of colour here. It shapes um, the cheekbones, if you put it in your temples, it's meant to slim your head down. Um, <laughs> um, and I also put it down the size of my nose as well. Um, so yeah. Next up is bronzer. This is the Rimmel London bronzer. Um, I just give my brush a swipe, put it on the parts where I think that my face would naturally be sun-kissed. So the top of the forehead, on the nose on the top of the cheeks um, but I also put it um, on my mouth and chin too just so that they don't look so pale and then I also put it down the centre of the neck as well and as you can see here I've applied it to my lids I've applied it in the creases and um, I think it's a good eyeshadow base really because it's the same colour as your bronzer I think it matches up quite nicely and then if I want to add any shimmers or anything I'll do that also but I do think that this is a good base colour. Next I'm using this e.l.f. highlighter. It doesn't really show up on camera but this one's kind of a nice pinky, bronzy kind of highlighter. It's actually quite, um, it's quite minimal so it doesn't show up too much if that makes sense. <laughs> Next I'm using this uh, Revolution Roxy palette. I just went for a gold shimmery look. I am so grateful for everything I have and for the life that I get to live. And I don't take one minute of it for granted. One of my favourite parts which is eyeliner. This one's by She Glam. I do actually think this um, line is pretty good. Um, yeah, it goes on quite easily. I hate it when they're quite dry and then they just drag on your eye and it just, it doesn't look great, but this one's not too bad, quite easy to use. Still my forever favourite, Maybelline La Sensational. La Sensational. <laughs> I love this mascara so much. really a lipstick gal but I do like to line my lips and then blend it in just so that my lips have a bit of colour compared to the rest of my face. So this one's from She Glam. makeup look which is actually my everyday makeup look obviously it's nothing fancy just my everyday makeup look and i really hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for the request as well lots of love guys bye